What are some other ways that um, you think might be effective that have not been tried or ways that have been um, addressed? And why don't we start with you, Maeve, on the first part of the question? Well, I do think, yes, yeah, stand-up comedy itself, it's very spontaneous, it's really broad, it's not for everybody. And it can be quite, um, like, I think, did you say bawdy? I love that word, or rowdy or something. Yeah. I do love that word. Um, and so, yeah, it, is, it isn't for everybody, but I think that there's a place for it. And it's, like I said, the, that that little world is, um, it's quite powerful. Like you say, young people, but young, young people, that's a huge population. And you know, you get the figures from like Comedy Central, it's like college guys from 18 to 24, watch this. And I'm inclined to be like, well, I'm not interested in those guys. <laughs> so I'm not gonna make anything for them. But really, how cool would it be to actually reach them with an alternative message to Islamophobia? or whatever they're getting pummeled with left, right, and center the rest of the time. So if it is like a goofy joke, or if it's like a, even seeing like um, a, a Muslim person like joking around with their friends and messing, that seems like, because like you might see it every day, but to a lot of people in America, they don't see that side. So that, even that simple thing of Even being I, like, I can't find Snapple, you know, just, <laughs> yeah, it's crazy that it's important. But I thought about Muslims in connection with Snapple. <laughs> I do think that's a valid, you know, that's... Good point. You know, yeah, it's just people being human. Um, and you can't see enough of that really today, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. and if you... If you have a uh, response to the question, great. After that, I've been told we should open it up to the floor for questions, so. I, I think, number one, you have to come out of your comfort zone. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to stay by. If you've never, if you've never been to a mosque, you need to find one in, in Iowa. You need to find one in Des Moines. There's seven mosques in Des Moines by itself. Find one to go to. You know, if, if you don't know the history of Muslims in Iowa, Seek it out. It's just like to the point, understand the differences. Because if we start understanding our differences, then our similarities have substance. And that's what we have to be good at. I don't want to walk in the room and, you know, say, number one, that I'm colorblind or I don't see religion. You know, if I walk in a room and I come on stage and I'm not Ray Charles or Stevie Wonder, then I know there's some color out here. <laughs> you know. You know, and, and, it's, and if you look around, you will notice some color out here. And we have different religions that are out here. There's nothing wrong. But if we don't learn from each other, then we start trying to do the Rodney King, let's all get along without any substance. You know, how do I get along with you? And I don't even know anything about you. That means I'm tolerating you. That means I'm really putting on a mask instead of taking off my mask and saying this is the way I am. You know, there's nothing wrong with saying, I don't like that. Yeah. Yeah. You know, plus, I charge Muslims. Because Muslims, we need to make our own film. We can't quit letting people tell our own story. They tell our story. You know, just like jihadists. Let us define jihadists for you, if you want to know jihadists. And I'll close with this. We did a press conference at the mosque. And, and Keith Allison, Congressman Keith Allison, who you saw in the film, came and he was there. Uh, there were several other people that were there. I see Alexandro that's in the audience. You know, he was there. And we, we, we did this press conference. And after the press conference, this lady came to me. And she looked at me. She gave me a big hug. And she said, I was scared to death to come. She said, I've always wanted to come, but I was scared. And she was whispering, you know. And so I looked at her back. And I said, that's okay. <laughs> you know. And she looked at me, and she like whispering was something we had to do. But I said, it's also OK if you talk to me in a regular voice. <laughs> and she said, oh, OK. You know? And then she said, I want to do something. And she said, what can I do? I said, what do you want to do? She said, I want to have a potluck. And I want to invite different religions and have this potluck. And we took her name. And at some point, I told her, you know, Hey, you know, she said, does the cold bother you? You know, and I said, why did you ask that? Well, with you guys being from the Middle East, you know, the cold must bother you. And I said, I leaned to her, I said, now it's time to whisper. <laughs> That's great. Um, 
Shelby. And yeah, did just you want to add anything or very quickly, I mean, to build off something that Akeo was saying, you know, what can I do? And I think we have so many, the great thing about like this film festival is we have people here who care. You've all come together to watch these, feel, these films and feel the feelings and think, oh gosh, that's so upsetting and so bad. And I, I, really, I really feel about that. But you have the chance to step outside your comfort zone and you have the ability to do something. And you know, there's bills in your legislature that's, that are being passed that affect Islamophobia on a real level. Um, we wrote a, lever, a letter to Governor Branstead here in Iowa when he said, we won't take any Syrian refugees here. And it was great to hear it from, you know, the ACLU, but it's even more powerful to hear it from you. You are the more powerful advocates because there's more of you than there is of the ACLU. So, you know, really, I want to call you to action. And if it's something that you want to do something more than just sit in a theater and feel bad, come talk to somebody like me. Come talk to the ACLU. Come talk to these beautiful organizations we have all over Iowa that do this work. And step outside your comfort zone and do something and help us tell those better stories and show people like Governor Branstead that Iowa does a, is not a racist community that thinks Syrian refugees should not be allowed here, and we can change that conversation together. Very good, thank you for that.